Greetings, everyone. You've got it live on Tuesday night coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. And joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another Grown Man 1982 gaming video. The NBA playoffs are right around the corner. But first, the seventh and eighth seeded teams have to be, have to be decided by the play-in tournament. Excuse me. Uh, so this is the final game of the uh, play-in tournament, the Pelicans versus the Thunder. This game will air on Wednesday, April 12th at 9.30 p.m. Uh, before we get this game started, please tell me in the comments who you think will win this game, uh, who your favorite NBA team is, and what your final finals predictions for the playoffs are. If you have made it this far, uh, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Following this video will be a simulation of the full playoffs. Uh, and so... Uh, Hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when that video drops. Uh, so let's get this game started. And on the floor tonight, a collection of some of the league's brightest young players. And make no mistake about it, these guys are a work in progress, but the talent is undeniable. Can't wait to see who becomes the alpha dog in this group. Now here's McCollum, the 11-footer. And it's Shea Gilgis Alexander with the rebound. To the paint. That's good from Williams. The assist by Gilgis Alexander. Williams against Ingram. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And that one falls for Ingram. Both free throws. Good for Ingram. Is Alexander and Jones pulls it down and so it's Jones he'll bring it up for New Orleans down low Richardson and a slam dunk by Richardson well you've got to be able to attack the rim off the perimeter Josh Richardson sending a message with that dunk Gilgis Alexander against McCollum Gilgis Alexander good and the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Here's McCollum after the made shot from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Let's it go from 11. McCollum, no good. Thunder have gone 2 or 3 here to start out the game. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Uses both hands to slam it down. Wow, Shake Gilgis Alexander quick off his feet. Defense doesn't have time to react. The pass to Williams. And there's another one for the Thunder. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. McCollum with the ball. Williams picks him up. And the basket by McCollum. If there's a weakness in your defense, McCollum will find it. Reads the floor exceptionally well. Gilgis Alexander, a screen on Richardson. The shot's good from Gilgis Alexander. And it's six points for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Richardson outside. Banked in off the glass. Well, you can see the will that Josh Richardson plays with. Contact, not a problem for this guy. Over to the wing. Here's Valanciunas. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Up top, Gilgis Alexander. Richardson cover. The shot's good from Gilgis Alexander. Boy, wide open teammate. Really pretty pass by Lou Dort. No hesitation there. Here's McCollum. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Quality passes. That one is off. And the second free throw, good. Now here's McCollum. After the miss from Shea Gilgis Alexander. McCollum dishes to Valanciunas. Oh, 
plays it up and banks it in. Well, Jonas Valanciunas showing good hands and finishing ability inside. And this guy on that end of the floor has always been effective. Giddy finds Gilgis Alexander. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Gives the team such a great element having a one guard who can get to the tent. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Well, you love it. Fearless, aggressive, leaving no doubt whatsoever. Good on the shot. Taking back the lead once more. Give these teams credit. Man, they are battling. From the field in this ballgame, Richardson kicks to Ingram. Alan Junis sets a screen for Ingram. Great touch on the 16-footer. And this is Ingram's bread and butter, a terrific mid-range shooter who looks to score from there often. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First free throw is good. Though is small market teams can win in the NBA. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. Now here's Giddy. Brandon Ingram missing his last shot. Here's Pakusevsky. He's covered by Ingram. They now take the lead. Boy, the more his frame fills out, the more dangerous Pokushevsky's going to be. But nice finish inside there. Ingram passes to Valanciunas. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Valanciunas has got eight. Guys, what a tight start to the game this has been. And it's still in the first half. This could be a wild one. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And he bangs it home with one hand. Well, just good recognition in the pick and roll. Gilgis Alexander reacting to the defense perfectly. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. D right on him. Here's Sharch. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got his third assist on the night. Alan Junis with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Alvarado. Here's Marshall. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. How about the perseverance there? The extra effort on that offensive glass. And there's the pass to Pakusevsky. Back to Gilgis Alexander. And he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. Shea Gilgis Alexander attacking and in rhythm on the offensive end. Pass to Valanchunas. Now Jones. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. In the corner, it's Ingram. It's through for a second basket. He's now two for six. Skins. Screen by Sharch. Here's Mann. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Defensive end. Now it's about trying to become more consistent in every phase of the game. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Wiggins surveying the floor. Passes to Pakusevsky. That falls. Ice feed that time from Wiggins. Pakusevsky's got seven points. Six on the shot clock. Here's Alvarado. They get the rebound. Nance goes to the reverse layup and taps it in. Well, just a tremendous job pursuing the basketball by Larry Nance Jr. and then gets the score to complement the board. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Here's Pakusevsky. He's guarded by Murphy. Pass to man. The tray. And the Thunder, another three. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Here's Alvarado. <laughs> and the first one drops. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Jay Gilgis Alexander, guys, has been on display for the Thunder. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. 
will return shortly. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. What do you guys think about the Thunder here in this one? They just came into this game with the mindset of sharing the basketball. When you keep everyone involved at the offensive end, it keeps everyone engaged in other areas as well. Oklahoma City leading by five. We've got Josh Richardson. He's out there with McCullough. And it's Daniels in its small forward. That's the Pelicans five. Williams a screen. Off target from outside. The Pelicans shooting at 50% in a decent group. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrich. Thanks a lot, guys. Josh Giddy has been attracting admirers, including LeBron James. Three. To the inside. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. All of four. And there's the drive. Here's Robinson Earl at balls. Ice feed that time from Wiggins. Robinson Earl's got his first three points of the game. Richardson outside in the corner. Daniels. Nans a screen. And with that, the Thunder lead is cut down to two on the bucket from Daniels. With it, he's still scoreless so far in this one. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Thunder lead by four. Well, that's about confidence and composure on the interior. Josh Giddy does stand 6'8, makes that a little easier. McCollum feeling it out a bit. Nance in the post. He's guarded by Williams. Boy, you have got to get Larry Nance Jr. out of the paint. If not, he's going to dunk all over you. Pass to Giddy. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Right on the bucket. Giddy's got four this quarter. This guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. I'll call him outside. Dishes it to Murphy. Kicks it out to Richardson. Rocket six. Fires top of the key. And he connects with the jumper. Richardson's got six. Well, I like when Josh Richardson is aggressive to score. It finds an opportunity and capitalizes. Joe passes to Giddy. Three-pointer. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. This is as pure a shooter as there is. You've got to stay connected or it's a problem. Pelicans trail by five. McCollum kicks to Richardson. Valanchun is inside. Working on Williams. That one goes. Count it. New Orleans moving it around. Now here is Murphy. Now McCollum sinks that one from the post. McCollum's got four this quarter. Passes it to Murphy. Valanciunas dishes to Nance. And the jam by Larry Nance. Boy, that play developed just the way they wanted. And Valanciunas made sure they got the bucket. What a tremendous pass. Now here's Giddy. Williams a screen on Richardson. Here's Giddy. Here's Joe. Good on the three-point shot. Joe's got six. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it's seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Screen by Valanciunas. McCollum outside. Shoots a fader. And there's Valanciunas on the assist by McCollum. Valanciunas has got it all tied up now for New Orleans. Joe passes to Williams. Here's Giddy. 
Williams trying to break free. His shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. Alan Shooters has got six rebounds in the game. And here's McCollum. He's got seven. A fadeaway. Count that one as his seventh bank in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. Well, how about you get a look at the range of Jonas Valanciunas? Gets his done with his back to the basket, or in that case, the mid-range jumper. And first time of the game called for Oklahoma City. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 14. Count that one for Dort. Dort's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Pass to Alvarado. One forty-four and left to play in the first half. Here's Valanciunas, and he banks in the layup. Valanciunas has got 16. Boy, this has been a bit of a showcase for Jonas Valanciunas over and over, finding a way to get it done on the offensive end. Here's Dort. That balls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got four assists in the game. And here's Marshall will bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Four-point game. Pass to Alvarado. 110 left in the second quarter. Ingram outside. Here's Marshall. Here's Valanciunas. That one goes in. 18 points for him. Well, Jonas Valanciunas has the instincts, the size, and the smarts to go ahead and take advantage of those missed shots and create them into points. Now, here's Dort. He has six. There's 45 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Shot clock at five. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Dort. And the Thunder, another three. Nice job by Lou Dort to make his way to the corner and then make the shot. Ingram with it. Six points for him. It's on target from the high post. If you're waiting for him to miss when he's that open, you're going to be in for a long wait. Just two seconds between shot clock and game time. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Well, Shea Gilgis Alexander shows you he's not afraid to draw contact. Now gets to the free throw line. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. I think what you love about Shea Gilgis Alexander is the size, athleticism, and instincts he brings to the position. This guy has the whole package. Now here's Ingram. He's covered closely. Tries it from 19. That one, no good. And we've reached halftime in this one. Oklahoma City out in front, leading by six. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Jonas Valanciunas having a dominant impact in this game. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first 
few quarters. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game that's been so far. Here's who Mark Dagnold is going to put out there to start the second half. We've got Williams. Lou Dort out there with Williams. Then it's Josh Giddy. And it's Gilgis Alexander in at the point guard. Now here's Jones. After the miss from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Richardson finds Jones. Now here's McCollum. And he drives in. And they call the foul. So a chance at the line for one more coming up. Doesn't quite have the height, but boy, does McCollum have the heart. He's a relentless finisher in traffic. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. <laughs> Did he lay an egg at the stripe in their previous game? Couldn't get anything to drop. The throw good, McCollum. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, guys. Well, the Thunder are trying to build something that will last. The front office says you stick to your principles, your values, and you think long term. We're focused on building a sustainably great team. We continue to be forward facing in that respect. Kevin, back to you. It's a good philosophy, and they're not looking for any shortcuts, which is admirable. David, thanks. And here is Gilgis Alexander after Josh Richardson was able to get the triple. And Dortz gets it to go. Well, Shea Gilgis Alexander is unselfish, and he's got excellent passing skills. Pretty play there. Now, here's Richardson. He's got nine. Valanciunas dishes to McCollum. And Jones now is out the key. He's looking for Richardson and finds him. They get it again. And stay with the play. Valanciunas. Valanciunas has got the game tied up here for the Pelicans. Valanciunas takes it off the window and leaves no doubt. Gilgis Alexander finds Giddy. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. Boy, and not just the aggression, the ability to get to the rim, but how about the finish with intention? Oh, oh, oh. Now here's Ingram. He's got eight. Valanciunas passes to Ingram from 15 feet away. Basket counts. Ingram's got 10. And known for the jump shot, Ingram needs to keep firing away with confidence from that spot. Gilgis Alexander against McCollum. And again, it's Oklahoma City. You know, he had room to operate, but added a little fade on that shot just for good measure. Williams with the defensive effort. And Williams, here we go, makes it off the glass. And now a four-point Thunder lead. Well, just finding the open man and making sure it's on time and on target. This is who Josh Giddy is. McCollum outside. And he converts the layup. McCollum's got five points now this quarter. Important points there. Got him on a nice play, getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. And a close game like this, you've got to dig deep and just find a way to make things happen. And Giddy gets it to go. And that's right where they want it to go with the ball in rhythm. New Orleans has gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. This team has credited Giddy's background for shaping him as a player. You know, he grew up in a house dominated by basketball. Both his parents played professionally in Australia. And that goes a long way toward developing your basketball IQ. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Trailing by two. Shoots over Dort. And it's New Orleans scoring again. And that's an element McCollum brings to their offense. The ability to drain the outside shot. It stretches the defense and makes them keep bodies on the perimeter. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. 21 points in the game. Williams a screen on McCollum. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Dort. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. 
Gilgis Alexander's got assist number seven for him tonight. Pelicans trail by three. Screen by Valanciunas. Here's Ingram. Oh, the jam by Ingram. Crazy talk from the wiry Ingram. That's going to get millions of views on whatever social media kids are using these days. And here now the Thunder. Gilgis Alexander looking around. Over McCollum. Again, Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City leading by three. Williams finds Dort. Trying to find Gilgis Alexander. Gets it to him. For New Orleans, they've gone 8 of 12 from the field since the beginning of the third. Ingram against Williams. Now here's Ingram. He's guarded closely. He gets that one. Ingram's got six here in this quarter. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Shooters. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. Pelicans trail by three. Timeout is called first of the game for the Pelicans. And another field goal in this total. Make it seven for 14, shooting 50%. Using his strength to absorb the contact and his length to convert the basket. Ingram sure plays with some toughness. Now, here's Dort. He's got 14. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. Joe Good. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. Alvarado passes to Daniels. Ingram with it. Let's the three fly. It's good. That's eight baskets for him now. Eight for 15 shooting. Up top, Gilgis Alexander. He's covered by Ingram. Sharich, that's good. Well, because of his size and length, Dario Sharich so comfortable on the interior. Pass to Daniels. Right wing. Alvarado passes to Ingram. Again, the Pelicans score. A natural born score. Ingram is a walking bucket, and he can beat you in so many ways. Here's Robinson Earl. Oklahoma City moving it around. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and he drops it in from the low post. Gilgis Alexander's got 10 points in just the second half. The pass to Alvarado. On the wing, Daniels. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. Here's Dort, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Has carved out one heck of a career. This guy is a lockdown defender, and he can now make open threes. That one misses. And so it's Ingram who brings up the ball for the Pelicans. Four-point game. Alvarado passes to Murphy. Down low. And the basket by Alvarado. Well, the defense wants to keep the ball out of that area. Here's Ingram. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Ingram's got it all tied up now for the Pelicans. Passes it to Robinson Earl. It's Dort on the wing. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. He misses the free throw. 
Good on the second free throw. Yeah, he gets them the lead at the free throw line despite the one miss. The Pelicans trail. And the pass to Marshall. Ingram outside. Picked by Murphy for the lead. And he overshot that one, missing. The Thunder shooting it quite well in this third quarter, 53%, and the offense is rolling. Here's Mann. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Mann's got seven points in the game. Good job attacking. Those restricted area shots are what every NBA team is looking for. Here's Alvarado. Misses the trade. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Thunder lead by three. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. McCollum and Jones are their guard. Ingram is out there with Jonas Valanciunas, and it's Marshall in at the three. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. No good from Valanciunas. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Giddy against Jones. Akusevsky, the pass to man. Out to the wing. From past the arc, Akusevsky with the bucket. Akusevsky's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for Oklahoma City. Pass to Valanciunas. McCollum outside. Here's the teardrop. He lays it in. McCollum's got nine points here in the second half. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Here's Pakusevsky. Guarded by Valanciunas. Pakusevsky with the bucket. And the D not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And Valanciunas kicks to McCullough. New Orleans moving the ball around. Oh, and the jam by Marshall. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Trailing by four. Makes that one fall. It's his eighth bucket in 15 shot attempts. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. Here's man. Yep, that one goes in there. And you can feel the excitement in the building. Both of these teams pouring it on. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side gets a stop or two. Here's Ingram. The Thunder making the shot over Williams. And with that, the Thunder lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from Ingram. On the wing, Giddy. Five to shoot. over McCollum and Giddy gets it to go. I'm not sure what he was thinking exactly but he finds a way to convert. Ingram outside. The feet of Alan Junis. And it's McCollum in the corner. Alan Junis trying to free himself up and there's McCollum. That's good on the assist from Alan Junis. Alan Junis has got five assists in the game. Pass to Giddy. Good work there as it goes. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Jones with it. Pass to Valanciunas. McCollum outside. To tie it up. And again, New Orleans with the triple. 
And with that great handle and high basketball IQ, McCollum remains a lethal pick and roll option. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. To the inside. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Six on the shot clock. And he lays it straight in. Gilgis Alexander's got 12 points here in the second half. Dort passes to Gilgis Alexander. That's the screen. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got four this quarter. Giddy against Richardson. Williams a screen on Richardson. Giddy the pass to Williams. Chalk up two there. And it's a six-point Thunder lead. That's about reading the floor. Hits his man right where he wanted it. And it's McCollum off the drive. Allen Jr. is trying to free himself up. Goes up again. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. The free throw drops for Valanciunas. Williams finds Giddy over Richardson. Again, Oklahoma City. Wow, Josh Giddy might be young, folks, but a fearless big-time bucket right there. McCollum outside. Now Valanciunas. And there's the pass to McCollum. Ingram a screen on Gilgis Alexander. They get it again. Valanciunas. Just couldn't take the lid off. They had their chances, but came up empty. Dort against Jones. Pass to Dort. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. And it's a seven-point Oklahoma City lead. And again, New Orleans has no luck. If you want to cut into a lead, you have got to trust your teammates and move the ball. That one falls. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. You want to continue to build on this lead. Right now, still a little too close for comfort. Now here's McCollum. Here's Ingram. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And the second of two is good. That brings them within eight. Pass to McCollum. 106 left in the fourth quarter. Fires the three. No oh, good on that one. Oklahoma City has gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Giddy. Williams a screen on Richardson. Giddy the pass to Williams. Shoots over Ingram. Williams can't hit. New Orleans with the ball. Eight-point game. Jones dishes to Valanciunas. And the shot is good. Stepping up in critical moments. Jonas Valanciunas late in the ball game, not shying away from the pressure. And that's an intentional foul. We've got 28 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And so he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. A disappointing day for him. Let's see if they go down with the fight. Well, they definitely have some things to work out, and you'd love to see them finish this game the right way. Richardson outside. The offensive rebound, and Valanciunas kicks to Richardson. From deep, misses. So we see the Thunder get the win here. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Shea Gilgis-Alexander. 
Well, that will end the game between the Pelicans and the Thunder, the, th- the fourth um, play-in tournament game uh, for this uh, season. Uh, what a game. This game was actually the closest game out of all four of them. It went back and forth, a lot of lead changes, a lot of ties. Uh, so it's, it's it was a good game, real good game. Um, but thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next video, which will be a simulation of the entire NBA playoffs. Uh, until then, uh, we see you in the next video.